Let's take a look at how to use the Polygon tool here in Adobe Illustrator. So you have shape tools in Illustrator. They're over here on the left-hand side. You might see the rectangle tool first, but if you click and hold, you'll see the other shape tools. Now one of those is the Polygon tool. Once we have that selected, we can look at our fill and our stroke. The fill is the actual color of the shape. The stroke is the color of the outline of the shape. We don't have to have either of those, so we could click on the stroke and click the none slash, so we'll have no stroke on this shape. We could click on the fill and actually double click on the fill to change the color. We're going to make it pink and hit OK. So now I can click on my canvas or I can click and drag. If I just click, it asks me what type of polygon do I want. It gives me a radius, which is kind of like the size. And then it also asks me how many sides I want to that polygon. So if I wanted like an octagon, I could make it eight sides. And if I wanted it to be 200 pixels wide, I could just type in 200 and hit OK. And now we have an octagon. Now the other thing we can do is use our polygon tool and click and drag. Now it's going to use whatever the last uh, saved settings were of that polygon. So in this case, it was that octagon. But we can actually, while we click and drag and hold this, we can actually do a couple things. If we want to increase or decrease the sides, we can press up and down on our arrow keys. So I'm pressing down to decrease the number of sides of my polygon. So now it's only five sides, so we've got a little pentagon here. If I hold shift, that will lock in the rotation, so I can't rotate it anymore. And then I could let go, and I've created that polygon. And once you've created that shape, you cannot edit the number of sides or anything anymore. So you'd have to go back to that polygon tool and utilize it to create new shapes. But that's an easy way to create polygons using the polygon tool here in Adobe Illustrator.